In today's video, we will be taking a look at fixing an issue that says game server has been lost and it gives you a nice long error code when trying to launch Warzone on your Windows 10 PC or laptop. I'm going to go ahead and show you the error quickly. So if I go ahead and open up Warzone using the shortcut on my desktop and just give it a second to load, as you can see, it has now given me an error code and it's quite a long error code. I'm not going to bother reading it out, but you can see that's the error and it is in the title of this video. So we are going to be taking a look at how to fix this issue. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and click quit to desktop and you now need to make sure you have the battle.net app open. If I go down to my system tray, you can see that I currently do not have the program open and that is the main cause for this error. So you need to go ahead and open up the battle.net app. I'm going to go ahead and open that now. Now I have the battle.net app open. If I was to go ahead and launch the Warzone shortcut, it will now work. But if you're still having issues with Warzone not working, then there is probably an update pending for Warzone that you need to make sure you have updated. So go ahead and click on the settings cog and just make sure it doesn't say update. Click on check for updates and see if it allows you to update Warzone. If it does, then install that update and then go ahead and launch Warzone and that would have hopefully fixed the problem as well. If you are still having issues launching Warzone, then the next thing you want to do is go to your desktop or go to the location where your Warzone shortcut is and then you need to right click on the shortcut, go to properties, you now need to go across to compatibility and we now need to go ahead and tick the option that says run this program as an administrator. You now need to press apply and OK and go ahead and launch Warzone now and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the only other thing you need to do is just ensure you definitely are connected to the internet. So in your system tray, just make sure it does say you are connected to the internet. As you can see, mine does say internet access, which means I am connected. If you're using wireless, go ahead and plug in a cable if you can and see if that helps. Also, make sure your firewall is not blocking the battle.net app and also Warzone, because this will also cause the error as Warzone cannot connect to the internet as well as battle.net app. If you're still unable to get on Warzone and get an insane error, then the only other thing you can do is do a scan and repair. So to do this, you need to open up the battle.net app again. You then need to go ahead and click on the settings cog, make sure you're on the Warzone tab, and you then need to click on scan and repair. You now need to go ahead and press begin scan and this will ensure that none of the files have become corrupted, which could be causing you the issues with Warzone. So that is it for this video. I hope this video has helped you get back into Warzone. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.